Monica. I'm the founder of By the Artwork. I'm a watercolor artist based in Bangalore, India. And in today's YouTube video, I'm going to teach you something very interesting that is making your own eco-friendly and natural watercolor paints using the ingredients that are available in the kitchen. So let me show you. So here are a few of the things that I have made with those watercolors. As you can see, this is a gift wrap and these are two cute little bookmarks which have all been painted with those natural watercolors which are DIY and homemade. So let's go ahead and check out how to make these and how to paint with them. Okay, so here is everything that you will need. All these you have to grind one by one and all you have to do is put them in the mixer, put some salt, a little water, not too much and then just grind it. And then just start collecting them in different bowls. Once you are done, it was going to look like this. It is already looking so pretty and yummy. So the next part is straining them all. So just take your strainer, make sure that your strainer doesn't have very big holes. Otherwise, we don't want the pulp to come out. We only want the colorful water to come out. So just like this, you strain away all of the colors and then I will tell you the next step. Once you are done with straining, if you see a lot of bubbles, you can take a tissue and just collect those up and then your colors will look nice, clear and transparent. So I'll just do this with all the colors to have nice and clear liquid. And now it's time for the two bonus colors that I promised before. So for that we are going to use the red cabbage or the purple cabbage. You just take out two more of the purple cabbage and then I will tell you what you have to add. So here is number one. It's vinegar and number two is baking soda. So let's start with soda. In one of these I'm going to add a little bit soda. Watch carefully and see the magic happen. So that's what you have got a very pretty and bright blue color pretty amazing isn't it and then watch carefully vinegar and look at this lovely pink how bright and beautiful it is and here is our colorful palette with super fun liquid watercolors made naturally so now let's go ahead and paint something with this what I have here is two round brushes one thick paper and our natural color so just to create the gift wrapping i'm just going and splatting this all over so you can use any colors you want just take two brushes and put lots of lots of splatter on it to create your design and you can see how beautiful the colors are coming very nice and toned down and pretty and just look at this blue how beautiful it looks let's try the yellow from the turmeric Make sure that you're cleaning your brushes before dipping, it, dipping them into another color so the colors come pure and nice and they don't become muddy. And just look how bright this red is from the beetroots. These colors might fade over time but that is alright. We just want to have fun and create something really beautiful and natural and especially the kids will love this process. So make sure that your paper is nice and dry before you go ahead and use it. You can make book covers out of it, you can gift wrap or you can use these in any creative way like for covering your pencil, pencil holder or anything. So there are a lot of ways in which you can use this. The colors look so bright and colorful and pretty so this is now nice and dry and ready to be used the colors are really beautiful and bright which you would not expect if you are making them naturally but you can see in the palette also they look so beautiful and pretty You can make more papers or you can use them any creative way like you like and i'm just going to wrap this up just like this and then after this we are going ahead and trying some cute little bookmarks with these colors so here we go here are our natural colors 
So let's start with green. I'm going to do very simple flowers. I'm doing very very loose style painting. So I'm just applying these and making some leaves and then some random pink flowers or red flowers and this is a nice beautiful very dark pink from our beads the lovely blue and do remember to wash your brush in between to prevent any muddy colors because these are very very light colors so if you dip one the brush off from one color to into another then it will surely become muddy and dark so make sure you're washing you keep washing your brush when you change the color so these are just some simple flowers that i'm doing here let's also go ahead and mix a little different green so i'm just using yellow and blue to make that i'm making the stems with that and maybe add a little more here and there make a few leaves with this another shade of green so you can also play with these colors because you have all the primary colors the B red from the beet the blue and the yellow so you can also go ahead and mix your own colors and have some more fun and we'll go ahead and do one more bookmark and in this one I'm just going ahead and using this long flowers which we did before the triangular shape flowers by just placing some random dots on the paper so this is really easy and beginner friendly and anybody can do this so just go ahead and try this and have fun with it use all the colors or use the colors that you like you can even uh, do some splatter or just play around with it you can even make cards gift cards tags anything you want and just have fun with it So let's go ahead and mix a little more green and then we'll just go ahead and do the stems for these. Super easy and fun. You can try this with the kids. Just add a few leaves. We can add a little bit green in the flowers also. And that's it the second one is also done so i hope you enjoyed this video of making natural watercolors and then painting and making so much fun stuff out of it and if you try it don't forget to tag me you can tag me on any social media by the name by the art bug and i would love to see your variation and your creations So that's all for now and if you like my work do visit my website which is bytheartbug.com you can also check out some free resources which I have linked below and I will see you next Friday bye bye